Senka, you dead? Yeah, I'm on. Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film. Hello. Today we're going to be making sense of life through Cool Runnings. It follows Doris and Sanka, Neil Brenner, and Junior, as they become the first Jamaican bobsledders to compete in the Winter Olympics. A move that was spearheaded by, by Doris yes. after he lost qualifying for the Summer Olympics sprinting. Junior fell and then tripped. Doris and Yule. So then Doris, it's brought to his attention that there was a guy, Irv, right. who wanted to actually establish a bobsled team with spinters in yeah. Jamaica. So he goes and pursues this guy, convinces him to actually create a team. I haven't seen this picture in 20 years. Huh. Would you look at me then? Ooh, would you look at me now? Earth goes to the Olympic Committee to try and get them to fund the team. The committee doesn't want to because they don't actually think they have a chance of winning yeah. and they don't want to be the laughing stock of the international community. It's bad enough how you embarrassed your own country. I'm certainly not going to allow you to embarrass ours. Doris is very persistent and yeah. he is very ambitious and then he gets everybody together. Then they qualify, they get to the Olympics and on their last race, they crash, but they go the distance and they finish the race with their heads held high. So yes, the main characters are Doris, Yule Brenner, Junior Bevel, Sanka, the best der derby cart, what do they call it? Derby cart? Dirt cart? Something cart. And then, and then Irv. Irv. That's pretty much it. 20 years ago, you came down here to see if you could make a Jamaican sprinter into a bobsledder. And you never got that chance. Look at me, Mr. Blitzer. I'm your chance. Take it. There's a lot about Dries that I like. Yeah. Life has a lot of its challenges. Yeah. And he's the kind of guy who is like, okay, here's a challenge. Things didn't go as planned. And so on to the next yeah. plan. Someone that never gives up. Always has a plan B, C, D. He had this huge dream. A split second, yeah. it's over. Beyond and his control. It's fair for Dries to be super upset for what happened because it's not his fault. But that's the thing about life, right? You may not be responsible for the injustice, but you are at the end of the day responsible for how you actually face this yeah. unjust thing that happened to yeah. you. And, and keep going after that. Keep going forward. Yeah, and so I like people like that because I think there are people who love to stay in victimhood and people who say, okay, well, you know, yeah, I was a victim of this thing. And he yeah. was a victim. I mean, mm -hmm. he's allowed to be angry. Once you're done, you know, yeah. being upset and crying, life is, is here. What living. are you doing? Yeah, so yeah. I really like that about him, especially when you compare him to Yule. Yule is bitter. Yeah. Dot com. Uh -oh. Yule, I'll kill you. Wait, 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 wait. I'll kill you. Hey. I'll kill you. Wait a second. You don't mean anything. You're dead. I don't need him. Kill him, and we don't have a team. I'm not riding in the same sled as that. It tripped me too, you know. But in case you haven't noticed, there's no one else here. I don't really think that that's the way to live. Living yeah. with that kind of anger and resentment towards someone. Yeah. Look at Yule. Nobody likes him yeah. initially anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He changes, but yeah. he's just like negative Nancy. Yeah, they only took him on on the team, not because they liked him and they wanted him to also be part of it. It's just they were desperate. They were desperate, exactly. Yeah. Hey coach, yeah. I have to ask you a question. Sure. But you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I mean, I want you to, but if you can't, I understand. You want to know why I cheated, right? Yes, I do. The other thing that I really like about Doris, right? Doris is the kind of person who's like, you're a human being. You're allowed to be flawed. You're allowed to make mistakes. He comes to learn that Irv cheated. Mm -hmm. It's a personal yeah. thing. And even if you yeah. did eventually hear about it, it's not something that Irv told him. And so it might mean then that he's not comfortable to talk about it. So yeah. let it be. But at the same time, he's had enough of a relationship with Irv to actually have a sense of the kind of person Irv is. He's a good man who's doing his best at the end of the day. He actually gave himself to this team and respected them. This is something that Doris knows yeah. of Irv. Yeah. And so, okay, sure, now I'm finding out that Irv cheated in his past, but that doesn't change what yeah. I've seen. It doesn't yeah. change this person because some people have this thing where you have this wonderful relationship, yeah. you've been kind to them, they know who you are. At least you think so. You yeah. think that they have been taking stock of your character, yeah. which Irv's character in terms of relating to these people has been yeah amazing but then you make one false step and then you're canceled yep. completely and it's like yep. we forget all of the things that happened and that's problematic mm -hmm. to me 16 years ago i made the biggest mistake of my life i cheated i was stupid 
I embarrassed myself, my family, my teammates, my country, and my coach. If it's revenge you want, take it. Go ahead. Disqualify me, banish me. Do whatever you want, but do it to me. It was me who let you down, Kurt. It wasn't my guys. That would have been a huge blow for the coach, Irv's coach, to feel like he was someone that he was his pupil, that he was mentoring, he trusted, and yeah, then probably humiliates had a good relationship, good with. relationship with, yeah. and then gets totally humiliated himself as well as, yeah. as everything, right? Every, everything he was about. But that's also time has passed, 20 years or something, and he's still, still holding, holding a grudge. That. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? I think it's okay to be disappointed when people hurt you, but if you really have had a relationship with someone and you know the foundation of the person, the person is not their mistake. A mistake is a mistake. True. Now you could say maybe he was holding onto that because it was never resolved between him and Irv until Irv came into the meeting and said, you know what, take it out on me, yeah. don't take it out on my team, that's not fair. And then after that, then his former coach just kind of seemed to ease up. Okay, now I feel like, now I can move past it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, we don't up. know whether or not Irv actually... Who knows? Maybe, yeah. maybe just, he, he, he did, ran away. Maybe he just completely just mm -hmm. cut and run. Next one. One, two, three. Toot. Who's the captain of our crew? Who's a friend to me and you? Kinda nice, good looking too. Sanka, Sanka, yay, Sanka! <laughs> Get back to work! Sanka. I like Sanka. Yeah. What I like about Sanka is he's able to level with people in a, in a way that really cuts through when people are trying to, you know, just not be real and direct. Everybody is gonna want to be on my bobsled team. Look, Star, let me tell you a little something, all right? When you need something from me, you don't have to hand me a bunch of lines. All you have to do is look at me in the eye and say, Sanka, you are my best friend. We've been through a whole heap together, and I really, really need you. I think it's really hard to ask for help. Sometimes when you're asking for help, you're a bit uncomfortable. Am I burdening this person? Yeah. And so then you kind of ask very indirectly. Yeah, and you're worried about, you know, you're really hoping he'll say yes, but what if he doesn't, and then that's what makes you unsure. So I'm kind of like, you don't have to sell me on anything. If we're friends, yeah. I'm supporting you. And you don't have to maneuver yeah. your way around asking me a question. Yeah. Because we're friends, yeah. I'd like for you to have the comfort of knowing yeah. that if you need my help, I'll be there. Yeah. Senka is very much not into the idea of joining the Winter Olympics. Yeah. He hates the cold more than anybody, but yeah. he still does it. For his friend. For his friend, yeah. The other thing that I really like about this guy, right, is that he's the happiest person here. Mm -hmm. The embodiment of self-acceptance. When we first meet him, he's having fun with the kids. Yeah. They have the song for him, and yeah. he's just reveling in this yeah. experience. He's going down. He's like, I love Jamaica, and Jamaica yeah. loves me. I love Jamaica. He has his kiosk selling clothes and all yeah. these things and yeah. he's quite happy mm -hmm. with his life. He's not pining for anything yeah. like everyone else. Yeah, Senka's the yeah. only one that it would be fine not going on that adventure. Exactly. Yeah. When you're looking at things like, I'll be happy only if I have ABC. Things like, how much am I winning? What are my successes? What do other people think of me? That's yeah. an example, right? Yeah. He's yeah. the guy who's like, I'm happy. Even mm -hmm. if I don't ever get those things, yeah. but everybody else just kind of has that. I need to win yeah. to be able to feel good about myself, yeah. which means you do not have a strong sense of your own value if uh, you're not accepting of yourself yeah then it's going to be hard to have relationships yeah absolutely work. you betray yourself you betray other people yeah. everything else in life when you have that sense of self-worth is like a cherry on top you had two gold medals you had it all Therese a gold medal is a wonderful thing but if you're not enough without it you'll never be enough with it I think that's the one thing with Doris where it's kind of like, man, you know, you gotta maybe focus on yeah. looking at the fact that you have a wife, you have a home, yeah. you have a job. Yeah. Look at where you're living. You're living in paradise. Yeah. That's where Irv is like, well, you know, whether or not you win, what's gonna happen in the end, yeah. it depends on how you are. Because yeah. when I ended up cheating, yeah. it was because I wanted to win. And, and was, that was the thing. And then nothing was ever enough. Glad you can make it mine. Don't touch me. And then there's Ewell Brenner. He kind of has the most change of anyone in terms of overall attitude towards things. He comes in being very competitive, focused, and bitter and angry, later develops camaraderie with the team. At first, is not playing along. He doesn't really want to become teammates with anybody. Yeah. He's just doing it just to get away from Jamaica. And after I, Ewell Brenner, win the Olympics and become famous, I'm going to leave the island and live Right down there. <laughs> We're laughing about. We're laughing about. That's Buckingham Palace. The nice thing about Yule is he still has a dream, and he seems hell-bent on 
somehow realizing it. He's a good example of how you really need people in your life to actually be happy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, he's angry, first of all, at Junior. Mm-hmm. But in general, he's angry because even yeah. before the trip, yeah. he, do you remember before they were competing? He wants to intimidate everybody. Yeah, but as the movie progresses, he's happier because yeah. he now has a community. Him and Junior actually develop a friendship yeah. and... He finds, like, he can actually then find meaning through mentoring Junior in a way. Exactly. Kind of or on something to both of them mentoring each yeah. other because yeah. when he shows them, okay, this is where I want to live, yeah. Sanka's laughing and he's so low. Yeah. And then Junior's like, you know what? Don't worry. You yeah. can build your own Buckingham yeah. Palace. You can still fulfill that dream. Exactly. Don't let others, you know... Knock you down. Knock you down. The more Yule Brenners we got making it in this world the better off this world would be, especially for Jamaicans. Go ahead, you'll run Go get your palace. And no matter how tough you are, you can get knocked down by words. Exactly. Which you'll get, and so you need someone to pick you up. What Yule tells you as well is that, you know, sometimes the exterior doesn't actually yeah. reveal what's going on inside. Also, a lot of the times when people are acting the way that you is acting, it's coming out of fear or insecurity or some kind of pain or discomfort. There's a lot of stuff I think he has anger towards, yeah. and that's most likely what we're seeing more than just him actually being a horrible person. Yeah. Because in the end, when he does get that comfort of feeling like these people are a community, and maybe he didn't have that before, yeah. you know? I mean, at first he was Presents Junior for coming from a rich background, which you all guess doesn't. So he feels like now I'm stuck with these guys that seem to be happy for no reason or just rich and doing well and I've been given nothing. But then Junior ends up being his biggest supporter in a lot of ways. I think the thing I like about the relationship between Yule and Junior is that initially he assumes that his life is perfect. Exactly. But then he yeah. keeps being exposed to Junior's relationship with his dad and yeah. realizes that wait a minute, this guy actually, you know, is having a tough time. Yeah. From my father. He says, I have to come home right now. That's Junior's main struggle, is that he wants to get outside of his father's shadow. His father has Junior's life all planned out, doesn't really have much choice in the matter of where his mm-hmm. life goes, and Junior decides he wants to do something else. I mean, his father never even really respected his wanting to be an Olympian, a runner, but yeah. now you're really stepping out of line with wanting to do even more stuff that I don't approve of. And Junior probably would have been stuck in that position with his father, if not for you all. I see pride. I see power. I see a badass mother who don't take no crap of nobody. You really see all that? Yeah, man. But it's not about what I see. It's about what you see. But he finally stands up to him, gets out of that, and yeah. forces his father to have to uh, look at his son differently. I am not a lost little boy, father. I am a man, and I'm an Olympian. And I'm staying right here. I think for me, Junior is an example of what happens when you surround yourself with the wrong people. Those wrong people could also be your parents, by the way. The people in your life can a lot of times dictate how you feel about yourself and how you see yourself. His dad, the whole time, is like, you know, you're a lost little boy who would be nothing without me. He's always telling him what to do. He gets a job for Junior. He doesn't even apply. So the dad isn't allowing him to fend for himself. Junior never actually learns how to be independent. When your parent is doing that, that overbearing way of parenting, it doesn't allow you as a person to actually develop a sense of like, I can actually do things. fight, do yeah. things on my own. Yeah. But then also just the, the verbal abuse, really. Mm-hmm. You're a lost little boy yeah. who would be nothing without me. What kind of parent says yeah. that? That's yeah. messed up. That's where I'm like, who you're surrounded by. What are the messages? What kind of things are they saying to you? It makes a huge difference, especially if these are people you call your friends, people you love. If they're telling you these things, if your own parent is saying that you're at nothing, then you do tend to believe that. And if you look at Junior, this guy is really amazing. Despite the fact that his dad keeps knocking him down and not supporting him with his dreams, he keeps fighting for himself, sells his car without the dad knowing. And, you know, he tries out for the Olympics. That alone is something. Thing. you know that's hard to do a lot of people don't ever even work hard enough to get to that point on top of that he faces up to his mistakes so he tripped these guys understands that him tripping them by mistake you know stood in the way of their dreams yeah. huge dreams but then he still has the strength to show up and say you know what I'm, i want to be a part of the team yeah. that's brave yeah. that's courageous because i know when i've hurt someone i always feel like the worst person and it's so hard for me i, I do make it a point to actually own up to my mistakes but 
man is hard because of his dad always telling him you're not good enough yeah. he doesn't see all of these amazing things that you will actually see that says mm -hmm. you are power you are pride yeah. yeah you're power you're pride you know you did a heck of a lot to get yeah. to where you are Last one is Irv. Uh, he won two gold medals. That guy won two gold medals? And maybe he was already seeking that to begin with, actually achieves it, and then notices that he wants to keep that feeling forever, mm -hmm. which you just can't have, but he believed that he needed to keep that feeling of winning. It's quite simple, really. I had to win. The idea of cheating, the morality of that kind of disappears because in your mind you will easily justify it as it's not a big cheat. I mean, if no one really notices it hurting anybody, it'll just, you know, it's fine. I'll just keep up my streak. Then he did have to face the consequences of that. Is that you? Roger, how you doing? Hello, Kurt. It's been a long time. Obviously not long enough. Hello, Larry. Jesus Christ, Irv. What the hell did you do to yourself? Again, going back to where you do need people in your life, he needed Doris to help him redeem himself. Mm -hmm. You know, he was in a stuck place. Now it's hard to get out of that. Another thing with Irv, too, is they all start to give each other courage. That's the thing, too, when things that you can get from, say, being on a team of some kind, all having a common purpose and goal that you're all working together with for, I think can really bring a lot of group courage, but individual courage. Mm -hmm. With Junior, it's confronting his father. And with Irv, it's confronting his old coach. It's confronting the whole Olympian committee to fight for his team. It was just a Hail Mary attempt to give them another shot at staying in the Olympics because they were going to be disqualified out of spite. His cheating is an example of what can happen if you make win winning your mm -hmm. whole life. You know, if those are the things that you're striving for, instead of the things that actually matter or the things that go to who you are as a person, things like your character, for example, you want to be happy. A, a lot of the times when you're sourcing your happiness from external things, you end up doing a lot of seedy things, selling your soul to the devil. Hurting a lot of friendships. Yeah, hurting a lot of friendships yeah and relationships yeah. you know what's the other thing something like oh, maybe i should just check so we don't waste sure. my time rise above it you don't see the swiss team drinking and carrying on and such and you don't see the swiss team smiling neither in fact if one of those swiss boys ever come across a pretty girl he probably yell i'm fine try and try to push her down some ice <laughs> Doris with the Swiss, you can aspire to and want to emulate something else, but you can't ever copy it. You have to still be you. You have to do your own thing your own way. Otherwise, it'll just you'll never be as good or work uh, quite the way as the original. That's what Doris finds out where he's inspired by the Swiss bobsled team. They seem really tight and know what they're doing because he wants to win. He wants to be like, well, let's copy them because they seem to know what's up. But it gets in their heads and it throws them off and uh, Sanka reminds them like, well, no, we gotta be us. Doris, I've known you since Julie Jeffries asked to see you dingling. And I'm telling you as a friend, if we look Jamaican, walk Jamaican, talk Jamaican, and is Jamaican, then we sure as hell better bobsled Jamaican. It only works if you're authentic. Yeah. You know, anything you actually anything. pursue yeah. actually only works if you're authentic yeah. to who you truly are. Copy someone only so far. Yeah. And then you have to allow your originality to come through. At the end of the day, the best person you can be is yourself. The only way you can do it is your authentic way. Everything yeah. else will fall short. Uh, That's what's there. What was the middle one? Oh! Oh! No. no. The underdog can overcome and mm -hmm. get ahead. Can this really be happening? What a different line through the Omega looking possessed here. It's not the same team we saw yesterday. Where did these guys come from? Jamaica! Wow! 56.53! These guys, they have a scraggy bobsled that Irv scrounged up. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of our team. You won't believe what I had to go through to get us a sled in such good shape. They don't have the gear. Yeah. On top of that, they're Jamaican. Everybody's just kind of yeah. like, you live in a country which yeah. you've never even seen snow. They're going into things with very little yeah. support. Like the support they have is in each other. Yeah, that's just it. that. 
People yeah. are laughing at them. The commentators going on about no one believes these guys. in them. No one believes Everyone in them. Everyone thinks it's a joke or yeah. it's, it's an embarrassment. Even their own Olympic committee in yeah. Jamaica yeah. does not have any faith. Yeah. Sometimes people can just settle into that. Well, you know, we're not as well off as the Swiss. I don't mm -hmm. have enough resources. Yeah. Why should I even yeah. try? Yeah. And then you have a lot of people telling you that you don't have a fighting chance. Yeah. So what kind of person do you want to be? Do you want to settle in that? that negative talk that you're facing from different people or the lack of support? Or do you want to just push on and just mm -hmm. say, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. Mm -hmm. You do what you can with the resources you have. And don't let the limits of your resources or your means yeah. define you or limit you. People look at the appearance and how they judge. So they think these guys don't even have proper equipment, outfits. So that on its own means I can't take it seriously. Oh, this is good. Then they get blindsided competing against them because they're not really looking at their skills. People do it all too often. They don't want to believe that someone can come in who they feel like doesn't belong or is inferior mm -hmm. or is unskilled. But that's some stuff that we had to say about cool runnings. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Share your thoughts and our thoughts. A burning question. Is Junior's dad a good dad? Yeah. And are you allowed to be forgiven for your mistakes, yes. like cheating? Is there a spot for redemption after disgrace? Let us know about that as well, what do you think? <laughs> uh, but yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. That's a wrap. Peace. <laughs>